Hello, I'm Jessica Sharuk. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about spirituality, personal development, and much more. So today's topic, I'm going to share with you four ways you can increase your inner feeling of self-worth. Now, when you're creating the life that you desire, it's so important to have a high sense of self-worth so you feel worthy of receiving all the beautiful things and blessings that you are calling into your life. Also, a low sense of self-worth can lead to an action towards your goals and just this overall feeling that other people are better and more capable and more worthy of the things that you desire. And before I share my tips, just know you are 100% worthy of the life that you want to create and of the beautiful things um, this world has to offer. There is not someone more worthy than you or less than for that matter as well. But if you are currently feeling stuck, feeling not good enough, not as confident as you would like to be, then try out these four tips I'm going to share in this video to increase that inner feeling of self-worth. So the first step is to list out all of your strengths. Write down all of your strengths, all of your values, all of your amazing qualities. And these are things you probably overlook and don't see as valuable, but really, they truly are so valuable. Then look at everything you wrote down and really like soak in how amazing you are, all the things that you have to offer and that you bring into to the table, whether it be for a job or to a relationship or whatever the case may be. And just start feeling more appreciative um, and really value the person you are and all of the amazing things about you that make you unique. Next tip is to change your perspective. Oftentimes we get so hung up on the little things that we deem as insecurities within ourselves and we think we're flawed in some way. And this can have a negative feeling on our inner sense of self-worth. But try flipping your perspective. Can you see these insecurities in a new light? Can you start seeing them as strengths or see that there's some benefit to them? So as an example, if you are applying for a job and you have a gap on your resume because you were traveling abroad for a year and you see that as you know, maybe undesirable to an employer, instead of seeing that as an insecurity and something undesirable, flip your perspective. Maybe that year is actually um, an asset to this company because you had like real life experience, you broadened your horizons, you worked on your problem solving skills and probably many other valuable qualities within yourself or even just having that sense of inner clarity of who you are as a person. So instead of seeing that year you traveled as um, something to be insecure about or as a weakness, see that as a strength, as an asset that you bring to this new job that you're applying to. And start doing this technique with all of your insecurities. List them out and then rework them to see the positive flip side of them. And once you start seeing them as actually an advantage or an asset, um, you're gonna start to feel like an increase of confidence within yourself and your um, feeling of self-worth will also increase. So my third tip is to talk to your inner child. So just imagine yourself as a three-year-old child. Would you tell that child you're not worthy of love, abundance, a fulfilling career, um, a wonderful home, a feeling safe, of having fun, of having really good friends in your life? Of course not, you would never say that to your younger self or to any child for that matter. If anything, you'd want to provide them all of those wonderful things in life. And it's so easy for us to have compassion and to want to provide and protect and to uplift this younger version of ourselves or children in general, but we need to start taking that more compassionate um, mindset and approach and having that same, those same feelings towards our adult selves right now. So my last tip is to derive your worth internally. So this means to stop putting your self-worth in all the things external. So stop feeling worthy because of your, you have a cool job or because you make a certain amount of money, you have a great relationship or your body looks a certain way or you have a lot of like designer clothes, anything like that. Anything outside of you, stop being or seeing yourself as worthy because of those external items. Instead, look inward and start deriving your self-worth based on the type of person that you are. And I think this tip is one of the most important because if you're placing all of your self-worth on external things and something were to um, happen and maybe you don't live in that home anymore, maybe that relationship ended, maybe your income went down one year after having like a really high income another year, um, 
it, that would take a hit on your self-worth. But when you start looking inward and thinking, no, I drive all of my self-worth based on who I am on the inside, the type of person that I am, my values, how I treat other people, then nothing externally can shake that or change your perspective of yourself. So to evaluate if you've made this shift from putting your self-worth on things external back to internal, ask yourself if I were to lose everything and not have anything, would I still feel worthy? I hope you guys found these tips helpful. And if you want to work on increasing your inner sense of self-worth even further and to feel worthy of creating the life of your dreams, um, you can sign up for the waitlist for my online course, Embodiment, where I teach you to embody the feelings of your future self, the you that has already created the wonderful life of your dreams, and to start thinking like this person, to start embodying the emotions, showing up in that energy each day. You can sign up for the waitlist at this link here or down in the description box and you'll be notified when the program is open for enrollment. And in the meantime, you can download my free checklist, 50 ways to raise your frequency. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.